Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, which is part 13, I'm going to be concentrating on preparing the front panel and deformation panel for paint. So let's crack on with it. First job is going to be to remove all the black primer that the panels came in. I'm using a, um, a poly strip disc and although it doesn't put any heat into the panel I have to be really careful with this front area because I, don't, I want to avoid getting too much heat into it because if I get too much heat into it it could warp it so I'm going quite gently with it
putting it on the places that I know need filling down the edges and along where I've been welding at the bottom etc. So I'm going to get that done first.
Right, well I've sanded down the first layer of filler. I've gone over the whole lot with an 80 grit um, paper. So I'm going to um, put a second layer on now. Um, sand that down again with 80 grit before I can start applying the epoxy primer. and the thinners and you mix it four to one. 
You can actually get this in grey or red, but I prefer the red because when you're painting the grey undercoat afterwards, you, it's a lot easier to see where you've gone and make sure you know make, make sure you haven't missed any. Same with this when you're painting it on the steel.
Right, while we're waiting for the uh, filler primer to harden fully, we've moved outside, so excuse any uh, wind noise because it's quite windy today, to do some shot blasting. I've got this industrial shot blasting pot. I've used, I'm using um, round glass, crushed glass, that's recycled. And I've got it hooked up to a diesel compressor that's kicking out about 130 cubic feet per minute, which this needs. Um, it's got a, um, a six millimeter tungsten carbide nozzle, and it's excellent at cleaning rust. I mean, you know, it will blast the worst rust down to bare metal in seconds. I um, mean, it's very noisy, it's very dirty, it's hard work, it's pretty unpleasant, but the end results are really, really good. So let's get on with it. The pieces that I'm going to be shot blasting are the front bumper, the dash, the front grille, this thing that they call the token pole, which is part of the heater unit, and these end caps for the um, air vents. Um, 
I didn't film all of the shot blasting because I didn't want to totally wreck my camera because this dust just gets absolutely everywhere. But it's turned out really well. Um, now I've got to get a coat of uh, epoxy primer on it as soon as possible to avoid any flash rusting. As I think I mentioned earlier in the video, um, I'm not going to paint the front of the bus um, in top coat or get that finished until I've got the sliding door and the rear hatch on um, and then I can paint them all at the same time. So what my plan is, is to get the bus back on its wheels and get it running so that I can move it in and out of this garage which will give me more room to uh, work on the sliding door and the rear hatch and get those all welded up and prepped and ready for paint and then I can put them back on the bus and paint everything at the same time. So the first thing I need to do before I can get the bus running again is get all the electrics finished and get the interior dash all done. So I need to work on getting the two dash panels that I shot blasted um, ready and painted so that I can put them back in. Now this uh, front panel the, um, is a lot rustier than I thought it was. Um, before I shot blasted it there was no signs of rust at all but as you can see here it's quite badly rusted so the first thing I'm going to have to do is make some small localised repairs to this panel which is going to be my next job.
Now that I've got all of the rusty areas cut out and replaced with good metal, um, before I paint it with a primer, I want to just go over these areas with a bit of dolphin glaze just to take out any imperfections in the welds.
well that's the dash in um, all fitted it's looking really good really freshens it up the uh, cab area up nicely so that's going to be it for this episode thanks for watching uh, see you on the next one and in the meantime don't forget to like comment and subscribe